Greetings, Eric Vacker, naturopath, author of Candida Crusher. Thanks for tuning in. The question today is, can you please explain what the big cleanup is? Why is it important to attempt a bit of a cleanse before we go into the three-stage Candida Crusher diet approach? What benefits are there? Why not just start on a diet? Just stop eating junk um, and eat healthy. Eat a paleo diet or more green food and take some vitamins and drink water. Well, I'm going to tell you why the big cleanup is very important. I'm quite passionate about this um, and the reason why I think it's very important is to explain to you the concept. For example, in my book, you can read that I give the analogy of cleaning a house. Nobody really likes to live in a house that's a pigsty or a filthy home. It's surprising how many people's houses internally are like pigsties, they're filthy. You wouldn't contemplate not cleaning your room or kitchen or bathroom for 30, 40 or 50 years, would you? Could you imagine how terrible the house would look if you never you know, clean the floor, wipe down the walls, clean down the bench tops. You just lived in that house for 40 or 50 years and didn't give a darn about, you know, the dirt or the filth. It would be terrible. You wouldn't want to live in that place. Well, that could be exactly how your house could be internally. You may have never attempted a cleanse or a detox. You might have never considered wiping down the windows or vacuuming at all internally. So don't confuse a cleanse with a detox. There are two separate things, right? A detox really more is like a thorough spring clean from you know top to toe in a house where we're going to get all the junk out of the home, we're going to scrub down the walls, maybe repaint or redecorate the home, we might even rip up the carpet, put new carpet in, okay? That's really quite a major overhaul uh, or a thorough three-stage detox, which I, I think most patients should attempt at least once a year. It's a clever idea. A cleanse is more like an overall wipe down, okay? Maybe get a bit of spray product out, spray it around, wipe things down a bit, uh, vacuum, sweep the floors. That's a cleanse. Now, it makes a lot of sense to attempt this big cleanup or a good cleanse for 10 days at least prior to going into the three-stage candida diet. This is going to dramatically reduce uh, your ability for the body to produce a lot of bad aggravations like headaches, dizziness, brain fog, tiredness, you know, diarrhea, bloating, gas. Many patients I talk to develop these problems because they jump into a diet or some crazy candida cleansing scheme without really attempting a big cleanup. Okay? Now doctors don't believe in this. They think it's a load of baloney. They think the body's developed sophisticated mechanisms to detoxify up to 50,000 chemicals that are in our environment. What a load of crap. Okay, the body hasn't developed these mechanisms, all right? I really don't believe it does. And on top of that, they prescribe pharmaceutical drugs, which make us even more toxic. We've got enough toxins in our environment, you know, with, with alcohol and chemicals we use around us and we breathe in all day, you know. And um, so we don't want to add to that by taking antifungal drugs or antibiotic drugs in. They just make us increasingly sick. So pharmaceutical approaches to candida cleansing never work. They never have and they never will. This could be one of the reasons why medical doctors think that the candida diagnosis is nonsensical. Uh, but I surely um, would beg to differ. Based on my clinical experience, I've certainly seen incredible uh, improvements and changes in people's lives when they clean themselves up, go on a proper diet and lifestyle change, and you know they get rid of these symptoms that have been plaguing them for 20 or 30 years. So have a think about the big cleanup. It's very important to attempt this. You can read a lot more about the big cleanup in my book, Candida Crusher, which you can get through candidacrusher.com, or you can read more about it if you go to yeastinfection.org. Thanks for tuning in.